Alright. No commentating, no. I get to go again, right? So SD the rest, Daryl. SD the rest? Mm -hmm. That means jump off, right? Yes. Yeah. Something you have to work on, Terran, is your shimmying. When they're in the air, and you know that they don't have a skill, and that's free damage, and you missed out on a lot of damage because of that. <laughs> you were playing without auto-targeting, weren't you? Yup. <laughs> I commend right. you for still practicing and trying that. Alright, so now I leave the room right, so the next person goes. Yep, okay. Yep. 
Oh, no, I didn't. Chasing too hard. Take note that he jumps a lot, so if he's not, if he doesn't have a skill... Oh yeah, no, you already took two missions. Anyway, the thing about him was that once he didn't have a skill, he was jumping a whole bunch and you were trying to jump at him. You have to keep into consideration that Magic Guy doesn't have the jump height as other people. So you gotta be careful with all those jumps because you're gonna get punished. One thing that just came to mind, I don't know if you do it, because I've never thought of it this way, is that instead of trying to contest uh, MC, and I MC, uh, whole game with regular auto, um, because he dashes just like Cindy, you can try to do the same thing as you do with Cindy, that's not like a reverse uh, air skull. I don't know how that'll work, but that's something I just thought about. Alright, Rash, you join up. <laughs> Rash, 
Rex, you're in the stream. What? It, the code is right there. Solid play, solid play. You don't have to overextend. I have to, you don't have to overextend. If you're gonna run over there, that's fine. That's one, good job. Nice. No skill. Trying to chase. Good stuff. Has skill back. Be careful. Be wary of ult. There it is. Follow up. Nice. Very good follow up. Very, very good. Keep it solid. Go for another skill. There it is. Maybe a spike. Okay, that's a follow-up skill. Alt. Yep. It's my game, though. The one slash. Very nice. Good stuff. Very nice. Be careful with this. Ooh. And extended, let's go. Good stuff. Nice bait. Aw, oh, dang. Good stuff, though. Stuff. <laughs> All right, so now Crazy has to space you in here. Yep, I'm here. Alright, so off of that, just take note to what Nas is doing, is that you can either go for uh, jump in air skill, or even jump in air auto if you feel comfortable with it, or even jump in at a uh, at almost full screen, not even full screen, and then you can do a reverse air skill to bait out his ground skill. Once he doesn't have ground skill, then that's full rain. You can go in as much as you want, just because he doesn't have any defensive options other than his auto. And MC wins that auto game. Where you at? I don't see you online. 
Okay. And Crazy has uh I was just thinking the holidays can be I mean Crazy has uh one life. All you have to do is get one stock. Yep, keep it going. That's you. That's all that's game. Very good stuff. Now, another thing is remember with MC, at least against uh, Ravi or specific matchups, is that you don't have to do the extra jump after you do your air skill. I mean, after you do your ground skill, and if they don't punish you, then you're fine to do whatever. To just land on them. Uh, because with MC, if you don't want him having that priority, they have to punish you after you use your ground skill, but if they let you get up there and fall down, then you're safe for the most part. That range, like being up that close, he would have to challenge you with uh, with ground auto and hope that he hits you before he, uh, you hit him. So when you're over top of him like that, that was your time to uh, hit him with the air auto instead of jumping away, especially since he had just hit you with the air skill. He hit you with the air skill, knocking you up even higher. Um, so in times like that, you could just fall down versus jump tucking because you fall down on top of him and then you can land an air auto as your recovery option. So just keep those things in mind. If they can't follow up while you're in the air, you don't always have to air attack. You understand? Noted. Definitely noted. Okay. All right, so space with Lux. Lux really, really likes doing um, ground skill. Uh, dropping down into air auto. I don't know if you know, but before Master Cat can land... Okay, I don't cool. mean to cut you in, I'm sorry, but I, I played with him last night, I've seen what he does. Okay, cool. Well, before Master Cat lands an air auto, you can do your ground auto to uh, punish it. Um, or if you're... Uh, if you wait a bit for when he's trying to come down on it, uh, your ground skill beats out... Uh, beats out air auto if you do it fast enough and then you can trade with air skill if they try to do it um, even though you'll get hit by air skill you'll still hit them and you'll have enough time to jump at them land an air auto etc etc uh, other than that I've lost uh, what, uh, three games against Lux but the issue is just that he's very punishable but once, obviously, Master Cat gets going by landing one ground skill, etc., that's a lot of damage to take. So, keep in mind that that's where he uh, where he triumphs in is once he gets started. But his neutral isn't all the way there. Also, when you when you get hit with you uh, with ground skill, just mash your air skill because the uh, the OS isn't real. The OS isn't real in a master cat versus master cat matchup. So just mash your uh, your skill. That's you. Good stuff. He's not coming back from that. Nice. Nice. Very, very good. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
I told you, you don't need to be jumping. Just mash your skill. He's gonna have to use his skill if to beat out your option of doing that. Very nice. Good stuff. And that's it.